Good morning, boys. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, boys. Now, I hope you, uh, you're you prepared to settle down and do a full lesson's work. Oh, well, Just because we're in the bike shed instead of the classroom makes no difference whatever. So don't think I'll tolerate any nonsense. Uh, uh, no, no, sir. Right. It is a little depressing, I'll admit. Fancy having to come to school in a bike shed. Oh. Fancy having to come to school in a bike shed. Fancy having to come to school. Exactly. <clears throat> What, me? Do I have to remind you that I've got my cane here? No, sir. Very well. Just watch your step. Ah. Yes, ah. Now, today, I intend to continue the chemistry lesson which was marred by that unfortunate explosion. I Quiet, chemistry! Uh, quiet. There will, however, be no experiments. I intend to spend the whole lesson on theoretical chemistry. Is that understood? Uh, yes, sir. Right. Now, if I remember correctly, we started to discuss the functions of nitrogen. But we, uh, we, we didn't get very far with it. What was your answer, Stanford? I never said anything, sir. Well, who was it? Uh, I'm not blaming you for anything. What was your answer to the question, what is the function of nitrogen? Uh, I don't remember, sir. You don't remember? No, sir. Sounds like a royal commission. However... What does that mean, sir? Mind your own business. I'm not going to be sidetracked off the subject by you. If my memory serves me correctly, <clears throat> you said the functions of nitrogen were some number, 6, or 1,365 or something. Oh, yes, that's right, sir. Now, oh, is it? Well, it isn't. <clears throat> it's nowhere near right. The function of nitrogen is not 1,365. Why, sir? Well, because there aren't as many... No, why? Because it's not, that's why. Of course it isn't. No, because you... A bit one? Uh, I just said, of course it isn't. Oh, and what do you know about it? Huh? Uh, well, I know it's not 1365. Oh, do you? Sure, because that's our butcher's phone number. Oh, well, well, that clears up the whole position. I, It's your butcher's what? Phone number. Phone number? Yeah. Central 1365, you know. What? Central 1365? Is that the butcher? Could you let me have three pennies of dog's meat? You know. What? Look, what's the matter with you? Let you have three pennies of dog's meat. I'll let you have a punch in the nose. That's what I'll let you have. I, 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 oh, Greenbuck. Yes. More trouble. Yes. You've got to walk in and disturb everything. As if it isn't bad enough having bottomy talking to me as though I'm the local butcher. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, not it today, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, oh! So oh! you're right, Greenbuck. Oh! You see what's happened? You, you, you've only been in the classroom 30 seconds and I'm compelled to give you the stick. Yes. Well, let's hope that will remind you to behave yourself. Yes. And why were you late? Why weren't you here at the proper time like the other boys? Yes, yes, well, well I, I couldn't help, help it. it. Ah, I was expecting you to say that, so I just thought I'd give you a hand. It never is your fault, but what's the reason? And don't take all day about it either. Yes. Well? Yes, sir. Good. Well, now, I... Oh! 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 Green, but look, don't you understand what I mean when I say don't take all day about it? No brains. No brains at all. That's your trouble. You've got no brains. Now, what's your ass? Has he? Sure, one and two a pound. I'll give him a ring. Fine. Send a one, three, six, five, please. I bet... No! Grab your right bumpy. Oh. You, you appear to have take, taken leave of your senses. Yes. Yes, and you keep quiet. You haven't got any senses to leave. Yes, I am. Well, well look, they're very well concealed. That's all I can say. However, I don't want to talk about that now. I asked you why you were late. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, now, what one haven't I told you? Um, oh, now, let me see. There was the one about the time when... What? Greenbuck, you stay in after school and we'll work this business out. We can't waste all day waiting for you to make up stories. What one haven't you told me? You've told me every excuse that it's humanly possible to give. And a few more that, that are quite impossible. Yes. Yes, well, 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 that's the finish of you. In future, get here on time, otherwise I'll, I'll be very severe. And don't forget I want to see you after school. Oh, I know. Oh. It was 9,365. Yes, of course. But, uh, what was? The function of nitrogen. We're not talking about the function of night. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. well, it's 9,365. Stanford, will you stop talking like an idiot? It's not a number at all. Yes, it is. Yes. What? Oh, so the professor wants to talk again. Yes. Well, don't. This has got nothing to do with you at all. You you don't know anything about it. But that's the number. What is? 9,365. Rubbish. All right. Well, who said it wasn't? You did. I did? Yeah. Uh, Bottomley, was that you? No, it was you. Was it? Yeah, you said that, not me. All right, all right. I, I'm not talking about then. I, I mean, uh, uh, not that. I, I mean just then. It was you, not me. I wasn't talking to myself. Well, I don't blame you. No. Why? You'll be bored to tears in no time. Exactly. But I'm... What? But, look, come out here. 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 Come
That insulting tongue of yours has done enough damage for one day that that's downright impudence. That's all that is. I've, I've never heard the equal. The idea of a pupil <clears throat> su su suggesting that I'm, I'm, uh, I'd be bored to tears if I talked to myself, why, it, 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 it's disgusting. And at all events, I don't talk to myself. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I don't blame you. No, I shouldn't think you... What? I'm a... <laughs> so so you, you've decided to be cheeky as well, have you? Didn't you see what happened to Bottomley for, for saying that very same thing? Or, or at least making the same suggestion? I... Nothing happened to me. No. I gave you the stick, didn't I? Uh, or that. Yeah, or that. Do you like getting the stick? No. Well, you're going the right way to get some more of it. Now, listen. Everybody seems to have completely lost sight of the fact that this is a chemistry lesson. We've done nothing at all. Well, we'll just stay here until we do. Bottomley. Yeah? What is the function of nitrogen? Uh, balloons. The... Balloons? Yeah. What about them? Well, you fill them up with nitrogen and away they go up in the air. Rubbish. Nothing of the sort. You're thinking of hi uh, hieroglyphics. Uh, 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 hydrogen. Uh, am I? Yes, aren't you? I don't know. But I used to have a kite once. Did you? Oh, well, there you are. You see? What? A kite? What on earth has that got to do with it? Oh, well, that flies up in the air. So it does. Great. Will you mind your own business? You'll fly up in the air if you're not very careful. So keep quiet. Yes. Uh, and look, uh, and what are you talking about, Bottomley? I never said anything. Oh, look, don't start that business again. Why did you mention that you bought a kite? Uh, well, I just thought you might like to know. Oh, did you? Well, I didn't like to know. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry I told you. Oh, I said it. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, the time that boy wastes is astonishing. Exactly. Ah, uh, pipe uh, down. Well, all right. Oh, I won't. Oh, I don't waste as much time as you do. Oh, you big storyteller, you Quiet, too. quiet. Nobody invited you two to start a dog fight. We wouldn't start that without you. No, I shouldn't think you... What? What did you say then, Buttermy? Uh, say, sir. Yeah, oh, I, I just said, uh, 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 when I bought my kite, it was new. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was a roaster. Well, I had I'm... 400 yards of string and yeah, well, about 15 oh, feet long. And every the, Saturday, the, we used to go... Bottom me! Yeah? Pipe down. Uh, I, mean, I mean, keep quiet. Yeah. Yes, and you too. You, you see what's happened? We've wandered off the subject again. Greenbottle, do you know anything about nitrogen? Yes, of course I do. Yes, I was afraid you would. Well, go on, go on. Yes, sir. Well, it's a compound bottom. Yes. Yeah. A compound body? Yes. What is? Hydrogen. Oh, is it? Well, that's the first I've heard of that. Is that the first you've heard of it? Yes, Green Bottle, it is. Oh, well, you'll be very interested in what I have to say. Will I? Yes. Well, I'm not so sure of that. Why did you think it was... Well, why do you think it's a compound body? Yes, sir. Well, because it only contains three volumes in every 1,000 volumes of itself. It only contains three volumes in every 1,000 volumes of itself? Yes. What? But in hyperclimates, this is not so. No, I shouldn't think it was. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, well, so it isn't. Now, listen, if you go on talking like that, my boy, I'll be tempted to kill you. And before you know where you are, you'll be in a hotter climate. So be careful. Yes. Nitrogen is not a compound body. It's not a body at all. It's a ghost. Where? Get it out of here. No, no, I mean, what are you talking about? It's a ghost. Nobody's talking about ghosts. But ghosts haven't got a body. But haven't they? No, they just wear a nightshirt. I know. Great. Ah, oh, wear a nightshirt. What's the use? Yes, well, I've got to wear something. All right, all right. Well, look, I don't care about that, you idiot. I know, I, I know they've got to wear something. Why, sir? Well, how would you like it if you had to run a... No! Stanford, will you keep that tongue of yours still and stop asking questions? Well, what about the invisible man? Well, what about him? Well, he never had a nightshirt. All right, I'll... I, I, I never said he did. Yes, he did. What? And his nightshirt used to run around without him in it. I remember him in the pit. Oh! Now will you keep quiet? I don't know how long you boys think I'm going to sit here and, 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 and listen to you talking about nightshirts. But it's not going to be much longer. I'm absolutely sick of nightshirts. Do you wear pyjamas, sir? I wear a football guernsey. Then yes. now, I mean, yes. Yeah. Listen, mind your own business, Stanford. It's no concern of yours whether I wear a, a nightshirt or pyjamas. My old man wears a nightshirt. <sighs> oh, does he? Yes, it's made of hessian. Well, listen, I don't care if he wears a singlet made of barbed wire. What, it, what he should be wearing, as far as I can see, is a straitjacket. Yes. Yes, and if you dare after another syllable about your father, you'll be wearing a box made of wood with brass handles. Yes. Well, hold your tongue. Now then, oh, how did we get to this stage? 
<laughs> Who started talking about night shirts? Green bottle, when I told you about the ghost. Ghost? No. Oh. Yeah, but this is still supposed to be a chemistry lesson. Yeah, that's what you reckon. Of course. What? You said nitrogen was a ghost. I did? Yes, sir. I said nothing of the sort. You reckon it never had a body. I did not. I, I, I said it wasn't a body. Same thing? Boss me, will you stop talking like that? It, it, it's nothing of the kind. When I say a body, I don't necessarily me mean a human body. A thing is a body. A thing? Yes. What thing? Anything. Yes, I mean... Oh! Oh! We don't want to hear from you. I, I mean a thing like like a pencil, or, or a boat, or, or an apple. I? Well, look, you, you, you remember in physics, uh, a long time ago we discussed Archimedes' principle. When a body is immersed in a fluid, it displaces its own weight. Remember? Yes. Listen, you don't remember anything. Keep quiet. A body is, well, uh, often we say in physics... Under what conditions will a body float in water, don't we? Well, don't we? Do we? Yes, I think. Uh, uh, yes. Why, sir? Well, it... Uh, oh, I wish I had some weed killer. Under what conditions does a body float in water? Sure, you've heard that question, haven't you? Yes, of course I have. Oh, you again? Yes, and I know the answer, too. Oh, do you? Well, tell them the answer, and then they might know what we're talking about. Yes. Well, go on. Under what conditions does a body float in water? Yes, sir. After it comes up for the third time. At last. No! Yes, it's... I don't it's... want about this. Oh, look, oh, look, well, look clear out of here, everybody. Clear out. I... I've had quite enough nonsense. Yes. Look, and don't go anywhere near those men who are rebuilding the classroom. No, no sir. And we'll have the next lesson again here in the bike shed. No, no sir. Yes, sir. Well, good morning, boys. Good morning, sir. Good morning, boys.